What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Guys, we have a new video now. Let's guys, this is Letitia James. She's pure evil. I can't wait for you guys to check this video out about her. Well, Letitia James is evil from New York. We have proof of it. Go. Welcome to the gun range. This is Doug in Exile. Oh! This is called a Vanish. It's a one size fits all holster. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. We're going to start with just with how much Trump has to pay here. This is from Business Insider. I'll give you an update on that case because Trump already got a bond for the E. Jean Carroll of like 80 million or whatever. Here's out of options. Trump will pay $500 million cash bond to appeal his New York fraud case experts predict. Dang. Not paying will hurt even more. Now, this isn't about Trump actually losing $500 million. That's not going to happen. It's about how much it's going to cost for him to secure to look like he could pay the $500 million while he appeals. Okay. Trump must stow $500 million cash in a bank to cover the appeal bond for his New York fraud case, experts say. That is, if he fails by March 25th, New York will start seizing his assets. The state attorney general has warned. This is going to greatly destabilize New York business, I believe. Everyone knows you're crazy to start a business in New York unless you're a Democrat. This is a one-party business state, and Trump's in the wrong party. A premium of um, anywhere from $250,000 to $1 million will push the cost of a bond even higher. That's what Trump's probably going to have to pay for the bond. He's got assets. He's got over $670 million worth of property in New York, but you don't want to sell it all just to show that you have the cash, That's right? That's true. You have to go do deals with people that will loan you the money show it on paper. So it's the first prong of evil Letitia James and her imbecilic uh, worldview. Here's some new fronts where Letitia James is making truly evil decisions that hurt people. Here's three headlines. I'm just going to pull out boom, boom, boom in a row. USA Today, New York Attorney General Letitia James sued over action against trans sports ban. New York Daily News, Nassau County sues New York Attorney General Tish James for standing up to trans sports ban. New York Attorney uh, AG Letitia James threatens decisive legal action over the ban. This is about Nassau County that said men cannot participate in women's sports is the bottom line. And, they, and I don't want to get into the, there's vocabulary about all this. I know I'll get in trouble. I'm just saying Here's New York County uh, taking Letitia James to court over transgender order, uh, quote unquote, is common sense. In New York, New York Attorney General Letitia James was sued Tuesday over her response to Nassau County's ex executive Bruce Blakeman's directive restricting transgender athletic competition. OK, so that's Bruce Blakeman. He's a good guy who says he does not want transgendered men who claim to be women to be participating in women's sports. It's very dangerous for the women. That's been shown. Yeah. They, they can knock True. out other women. They beat all their records. It defeats yeah. everything Title IX did to put women in sports back in the 60s. Now you can work your whole life as a biological woman, and you will get taken out by a biological it's man who is a transgendered woman. And for that's people that really say that's up. hateful or weird, um, you know, you're just playing politics. Letitia James issued Blakeman a cease and desist letter on Friday over his executive order prohibiting transgender women from participating in Nassau County's female competitions. Quote, this is common sense, what they're trying to do. The people who are trying to inject biological males into female competition is destroying women's and girls' sports. And that is a protected class under federal law, unquote, Blakeman claimed. I not only wanted to do this for the women and girls here at Nassau County, I have an obligation to do it, unquote. And Letitia James is going after him because Letitia James, this is what happens with Democrats. They end up being anti-biological women. These are feminists who are anti-woman. Okay, here's another front by Letitia James going after the beef industry. This is Vivek Ramaswamy, Letitia James. It's After prosecuting evil. Trump for political reasons, is now suing America's largest beef producer because it doesn't have a, vi quote, viable plan to achieve its net zero by 2040 goal. This is politi politics masquerading as just justice. She should be disbarred for her rank partisanship. I agree. Absolutely. 
Here's the Wall Street Journal, similar article, uh, Letitia James, anti-business business model. The New York attorney general sues a meat company because it sells too much meat. It's too successful. This is another <laughs> Democrat environmentalist crazy. thing that Letitia James is going on the rampage for. New York Governor Kathy Hochul declared the state wouldn't target businesses with political cases after winning a $454 million judgment against Donald Trump. That vow didn't last long. Last week, Attorney General Letitia James charged the world's largest beef producer, JBS USA, with misrepresenting its carbon emissions. JBS, I got nothing for you. This is your punishment for being in business selling meat in New York. Everyone in New York that does anything against the Democratic agenda, same-sex marriage, environmentalism, uh, illegal open borders, all of that persecuting, uh, pros uh, persecuting and prosecuting political opponents, if you're in New York, it's going to start being your fault for being that dumb. It's like, look, maybe you Damn. don't go to certain neighborhoods at two in the morning. Here's Letitia James, quote, the JBS group has profited from its fraudulent and illegal business activities across the state of New York, New York State. You hear that before? That's what she calls Trump. That's what she calls all political opponents. Uh, the AG claims in a lawsuit filed in the state court. Pray tell how her argument is that eating beef is bad for the climate and that JBS duped consumers into buying its products by making overtly ambitious pledges to cut emissions. Seriously, that's the case. Now, JBS, you have this coming because you played the climate game. And now you got burned. Uh-oh. Boo-boo. Here's Letitia James at a speech for New York firefighters where they boo her and start shouting, Trump, Trump, Trump. Oh, come on. We're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um... Simmer down. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. The people, firefighters, who actually where it takes merit to keep that job instead of a, an advanced college degree, they know who has their back, and that's Trump. This is going to haunt Letitia James. Fine, go hang out with your elitist, rich, manipulative snobs, Letitia. You're a criminal. Firefighters know it. Here's Letitia James going after the Second Amendment. This is from AP News headline, court ordered permanently blocks Florida gun retailer from selling certain gun parts in New York. So this affects a Florida gun retailer selling parts in New York. That's right, your business is outside of state, won't even be able to do business with New York. This is what California does too also, yeah, where, they, you know. where they'll ban like food coloring and candy. And then suddenly, you know, what's a candy manufacturer going to do? Say, so we'll do business everywhere but California when California is one of the hugest buyers, you know, of any product. So that's how Letitia James starts to manipulate what's happening in Florida with the Second Amendment. Here's another evil of Letitia James. This is a masterpiece cake shop, a Colorado bakery. This is big, imbecilic Letitia James manipulating Colorado cake bakers who are Christians. Masterpiece Cake Shop, a Colorado bakery, refused to make a customer a cake when they found out it was to celebrate her transition. That's false. So we'll, it'll be clarified in a minute. This bakery has discriminated against LGBTQ people before. I'm urging the Colorado Supreme Court to stop this transphobic discrimination. Here comes the big words, guys. It's politics all over. Well, let's clarify a little bit. So this is a Christian cake shop. And here's what, was, here's what was clarified on Twitter by these fact checks. The same customer also asked for a cake with a cake topper described as, quote, a large figure of Satan licking a nine-inch black dildo, an actual working model that can be turned on before we unveil the cake, unquote. That's what the, the poor LGBTQ victims are doing to conservative Christian cake decorators. You are, if you're a cake decorator, you're an artist. I'm an artist. These are people coming in telling you, you will perform what I tell you to do with your art. You, I will pay you and you will not have a free speech right to say no. You are compelled to work or we will shut down your company. And even New York, Letitia James will start to manipulate the Colorado state 
to take down your business. Do you see how evil this is? This is about New New York. Letitia James could reach any of us in another county, in another state, on any number of issues. This is the Second Amendment. This is free speech. This is the LGBTQ movement. This is environmentalism. See, it's spreading everywhere. This is what the left does. Guys, quit voting Democrat. Never put an X next to a Democrat again, or you're asking for this stuff to happen to you or your children. Here's Molly Hemingway ratioing the heck out of uh, New York uh, AG, Letitia James. She wrote, your hatred of the First Amendment aligned with your hatred of other parts of the rule of law. You are a bad person. I agree. Here's another tweet from Travis in Flint. Happening now, Letitia James is now suing the world's largest beef producer, JBS USA, for not meeting environmental quality standards of net zero by 2040. Here's the rest of that, uh, unpacking the rest of his tweet. JBS recently announced they'll be increasing production and adding more jobs, which Letitia James claims will increase their carbon footprint and hurt their environment. They're trying to bring more jobs into New York, but they're the wrong kinds of jobs, people making beef. Not only is James targeting political opponents, she's now going after any business that is succeeding in New York. How many jobs will be lost because of this? Are New Yorkers still happy they voted Democrat? You dummies, you deserve this. You are going to collapse New York. Enjoy when all the good jobs are either gone or given to an illegal. Elections have consequences. I agree. Mm. And then here's, uh, this is Mel, the village crazy lady. He already exposed Letitia James's Fonnie Willis-like expenditures. What do I mean? Well, in 2023 alone, Letitia James spent over $28,000 on hotels. Over $15,000 of that went was spent on luxury hotels in Puerto Rico. What is she doing in Puerto Rico? And then here's the list. Here's the artwork list showing it all. These uh, big uh, resort hotel level hotels for twenty eight thousand dollars. That's what Letitia James is doing to you. She's the Fonnie Willis of New York, people, and that about covers it for Letitia James. As you can see, crooked, monstrous, criminal, defended by Democrats in New York. If you guys keep voting these people in power, I got nothing, nothing. But you're going to reap an absolute disaster by putting this kind of evil in office in New York. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Guys, don't just watch. Spread this link all around the internet. I need your help in getting the word out about Letitia James, especially post it to Twitter. Guys, this is really, really serious. It's, it feels like you can't do it. You can't own your business again in New York. Like New York is for Democrats. If you don't apply to that rule, you get kicked out. It's, it's really, really serious. And a lot of things have been swept under the carpet that we are not seeing. A lot of things, a lot of people are pissed because of this. A lot of business owners don't want to come to New York because of this. Like, you have to pass through them. You have to pass through them, through anything you're doing in New York. She's trying to, like, sue. <laughs> She's suing the beef industry. Like, who does that? This is really, really crazy. See the protests that they have? During the, con- during the meeting they, they were having, she was just, this is the house of God, uh, why is it that Americans, why is that Democrats every time they do this, bringing God into everything they do? Like, you are, you are, making, a, you are making a speech, you shouldn't have to bring God into the speech because people are, are, are shouting Trump, 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 Trump. Why are you bringing God into it? See your speech and get out. So this is very serious. It's not how we are seeing it. It's like, this can be done to you next time. So we have to take this very, very serious because we don't know who is next. We don't really don't know. So comment down below, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can. You know how to do it, guys. Vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> Vote for the Republicans. Because this year, we are coming for all the Democrats. We are coming to t- change America f- to be better. America must be great again. Subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all